Hello there, and welcome back to episode four of Swan Chernobyl Unexplored. If that is its real name, because Richard keeps forgetting it. I do. I know it's Summit Summit Chernobyl. If you did watch right to the very end of the last episode, you will notice me. You will have noticed me eating our most recent the big one right at the end. The patient's vision. You will have noticed him. Become so strong that is all. Clear, you will have noticed me. And so far <laughs> removed from the laws of physics at the same time. That it's your favourite chat pal. He's talking is just so slow. Parallel dimensions. As well as in the thinner layers dimension. of space-time continuum, the need for better <laughs> understanding a, of those visions last time. and the essence continue. of their evolution has encouraged us to construct a special device that filters information stored the thin layers of dimensions. It just remind me of like those. Uh, text to speak guy. Yeah, all those really bad. What? Well, what that? What happened there? I don't know. Did you see what killed me? Um, negatory. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well then, shall we not act? Well, we, we might have to act to it to play. We might be saying important things that we need to progress. So we'll have it on in the background while we're going about as business. Business being not dying. The body filter system is our most recent invention. I mean, you can try it. The patient's but, visions you know. have become so strong <laughs> and clear, hey, and so know. far removed from the laws of physics at the um, same time. Okay. Yeah. The reflections that, right? imprinted uh, in you parallel <laughs> dimensions. As well There's a point where it's just like, come on, just get over with. Time continue. The <laughs> need for better understanding of those visions and the essence of their evolution has encouraged us into? to construct a special device into something? that filters information stored the thin layers of dimensions. Did I walk into the lightning? Maybe. A hell of a lot of dumb things playing any game ever. Yes, I certainly have. Oh, you noticed. That's not a thing to be proud of at all. Oh, cheers for noticing, pal. It means a lot. It means a lot that I go, yes, Richard, you are a bumbling fool while playing video games. It certainly does, mate. Why? That, that's not a good thing to notice. I've strived for many years to be a bumbling fool. <laughs> Let's go catch some lightning, shall we? Where's the tall boy? He's around here somewhere, isn't he? Oh, tall boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> you be quiet, that surprised me, okay? <laughs> well, ah, there he is. Oh, you <laughs> I think you're right, I think I do need to get four, otherwise why would it have a bar to, that goes up to four? Exactly. So I'm going to try and capture four balls of lightning while not getting got by the tall boy or the spectres. You're going to catch them all? Yes, yes I am. You don't even know if that box is what you actually need, you're just assuming. Well, it must be summer. The age-old video game trope of, if it's there, there's got to be a reason for it. 
Yeah, but that's like saying, oh yeah, there's a door that you can't go through. It must be there for some reason. Yeah, it's because you can't go through it for decoration. I don't know what's happening with these sound effects, but they're uh, putting me on, by God, it's edge. Good. Battle rays around. Yes. Oh, they always nice. spawn in. You've even gone over this last time. No! Like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't ask. laughs> oh. Right. <laughs> oh. Okay. At least it's only here the, the respawn point. Nadia filter system is our most recent invention. The patient's visions have become able to so remember this word for word soon enough. Where, where? And so far removed from the laws yeah, of because physics you keep at the same time <laughs> that the reflections imprinted in you parallel dimensions as well as in the thinner layers of space-time continue. The need for better understanding of those visions and the essence of their evolution. No offense, but this one speaks to and this makes me feel like I want to grab my brain with a spoon. That if you are stored within layers of dimension, <laughs> yeah, because it, we've heard it so many times. Sorry, Paul, I've got a part to play in that. <laughs> you have, and it's just like. I think when it comes to video games, I feel the bumbling fool perfectly epitomises my interactions with said things. That's not a good thing. I mean, it's not exactly bad. I, that is bad. <laughs> hey. As a bumbling fool, I won't hear a, I won't hear a bad word against other bumbling fools or myself. <laughs> it's oh, a bad thing though, it's heavens. not a good thing. Ah, hell. What are we doing? Ah, oh, hell nah. Oh. Not today, chief. Well, possibly later. I was trying to keep my peepers peeled for seconds. That one took me by surprise, as you, you may have gathered by my uh, high pitched shriek when it got me. Oh, that's the door. Everything does take me by surprise. Go on. You pop, pal. Oh. What's in here already? day? Oh. Is it back in the office? No, oh, it's like downstairs, probably. Let's leg it down here and see what the old uh, crack is there. How about here? Ooh. <laughs> I was about to hear it, can't I? Hey up, Chuck. If you could just leave me alone for a bit, all I want to do is gather some energy if you don't mind. Is that really so wrong? Yeah. Possibly, yeah. I don't know what this energy is. It could be like life force or something. You know why it's wrong? Because you keep failing. If they didn't frighten me, so I would keep failing. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying to you. You're lying to yourself, you're right. I'm... Oh, good God. Why was he reaching? Because he oh, was trying to climb every mountain higher. 
Oh, lad. Let me get me thing. Oh. Let me get enough energy to blast this chappy out of the way. By chappy, I mean box. And when that rainbow is shining over you, that's when your dreams all come true. <laughs> Beautiful, mate. Voice of an angel, you lad. Thank you no. for blessing us with that rendition. No, that, that wasn't a rendition. That was me taking the piss. Well, either way, it was very beautiful. Thank you for no, it wasn't. It, it wasn't. Why did you take them off? Oh. Alright, yeah, about trip. You know not to have them on all the time. Yeah, no, I thought I could do it quicker, because I can see the lightning and I accidentally walk into it like last time. I think that's what killed me the first time. Or the first but time this episode. If you don't see it, you can't die from it. <laughs> ah, the old ostrich technique, eh? No, that's how this works. Obviously, it's parallel world and malarkey. The spectre got you. The spectre got me. Oh, for goodness sake, come on, right. I'm focused now with, with Dex words of wisdom and beautiful singing voice ringing in my ears. That wasn't even singing. Beautiful. That was beautiful. just me reading out words. That was Declan's beautiful uh, spoken word Brandy rendition. <laughs> is our most you can't even invention. have that as a thing. The patient's I can and will. Have become so no, strong you can't. Clear, what, a spoken word so rendition? Yeah, that's just reading text. You tell time, Bill Shatner that. that the reflections William Shatner? You yeah, nobody calls him Bill, though. As well as I'm sure his friends do. That's like calling Bilbo Baggins Wilbo Baggins. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> of those visions William and H. The Baggins. Of their evolution that's right. Has encouraged us to construct a special device that filters information William Bow Baggins, it doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> Everyone would have got exhausted and were just like, yeah, we're calling you Bilbo. William Bow Baggins. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Besides, William Shatner does actually sing, he doesn't do spoken word renditions, that is his version of singing. Uh, it's just that he's not very good, so... You know. I didn't pick it up, did I? I don't think you did, no. Well, I'm sure this door opened before. <laughs> What's that end? That's where I need to be. Oh, I did pick it up. Hold on a minute. Holding! Hold it! No, I didn't pick it up. I'm sure I didn't have to do anything specific to the door last time. Or well, maybe you did it and then you didn't remember. Because, again, fumbling full. Open the door, that, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yes, opening a door does make sense. That just now. I do need as many a lightning bolt. I think if you don't finish that this bit in this episode, you need to look it up. I do. <laughs> How to be better <laughs> at games. Up. So the spectres can see me, even when I can't. Oh! See them. Wait, you missed that. No, I got close enough to him, I think. I meant the green text. On the thing. So there's new text available. Something to do with this. Shall we have a look? Surf. Oh, yeah. Now drive that out of the set journal. Ah, there we go. Ah, 
pad panel counter which shows how many lightnings will ensure the right amount of energy to obliterate an object. The exact amount is required, using a lesser amount of energy causes its loss. The counter shows the maximum value, shoot the hidden object, the hidden objects glow orange. A special sound effect also informs the user about the distance between them and the object. Oh, does it now? Lovely. Obliterate ob spectres by obliterate spectres someone by the blind man. Stop them from appearing. Obliterate the blind man as well. Oh! I didn't know we could do that. Right. Well, there you go. Now, now you do. Blah. Right. I think we're alright, huh? I just need to. I'm glad I read that. Thank you for pointing that out there. Well, I'm the only one who apparently reads things in games that are key. Well, you are the brains of the outfit, I must say. Oh, he's back! Okay, so he despawns for a bit, but then comes back. Okay, I can work with that, I can work with that. Chuck, how are we doing? Out in here, out in here, out in here, out in here. Oh, where the, oh, don't tell me it's all the way back downstairs. No, thank you. Oh, I'm oh, missing, it's through the wall. There's the fourth one. Oi! Looking for something Oh yes. Can I just bail now? Is the blind man still there? No idea, mate. I'm running low on charge. By low I mean zero. So there was a locked door somewhere around here, if memory serves correctly, right? Uh, yeah. I really want the auto save to come up now. That would be, uh, that would put, put me at ease. I think it was down here. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was there. Oh, yeah. We're we going to see some weird shit, Dirk. Oh, game save. Deck, I did it! Thanks to your beautiful singing voice. Oh. No, you, you did it because I said, Richard, read the text of the game. I think your beautiful singing voice. No, um, it's because I said, read text. Well then. Moving on. That was an audible deep breath there. Do I want to do in here then? Uh, hi. Uh, oh, bye then. Rude. Damn. Why is everyone oh, suddenly yeah. bloody? You're right in there, Chuck. I'm swiftly moving on. Yes, mate. Oh, is that a pool of blood I should investigate? Oh, no, that's the way I came in, I think. Should we go back down here? Head back down here. Down here for the first time.
It sounds like if you farted in a bath. <laughs> sounds like Charlie Brown's parents to me. I mean, that might be yeah. the same thing. <laughs> oh. I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about Charlie Brown's parents. Oh, they're filled with blood now. Cool. Uh, oh, no. The tape's breaking. <laughs> I'm in near the trolley. Near the trolley, over here. Okay, yeah, is there anything on the trolley now? No. Like stim packs. Those are not stim packs, they're old ass needles. Oh, look, there's a person thing on the wall. Is that there before? No. Oh, God. Totally missed yeah. that, bro. Oh. That hurts my eyes. Yeah, me too. On my ears a little bit. Do I need to just keep looking at it? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Oh, that's blurry. Help, Chief. I think you need to go through the door. Nope. The door is jammed. Not custarded. Oh, but there's bloody footprints now. Oh, bloody footprints. Oh. Oh, oh, it's magic. This is not yeah, the nah. way I came in. These are not the drones you're looking for. You're right, they're not. Is there nothing I can bleep, Bloop? Um, I'm going to say no. I'm, you, you didn't pick up on the fact that I said drones. Not droids. <laughs> at <laughs> all. Uh, I knew what you were going for. Oh. Oh, look. That wasn't there a sec. I'm so confused. Was it? Can't have been. Oh, oh, and there's no there. wall anymore. It's like this whole game's designed just to like fuck you up a bit. I mean, with you, that's pretty easy. Oh god, yeah. I'm a huge Freddy cat when it comes to playing video games. Huge. No, I meant as in I, as in you could easily just tell you something. Oh, I think that's sealed up as well. Turn around. Oh, well, there you go. Certainly is now. Yep. So I appear to be in some kind of magical glistening sewer. It's it's probably covered in poop. You say hope or poo? Um, oh. Ah, okay. Why would it be covered in hope? <laughs> you never know. I get the I get the phrase hope springs eternal, but not <laughs> like this. Reminds me of a kebab I had once, pal, and the after effects thereof. <laughs> no, Richard, that that's poop springs eternal. Um, ah, yeah, sorry, I, I get those two mixed up. Oh mate, I went for a massive hope earlier on today. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't. <laughs> One way ticket to Brown Town, if you know what I mean. Oh, so, well that seems to be the way that I need to go, so let's see what's down here. See if I can find any other cool weapons or weird shit. Oh, is that the way I need to go? Oh, that's jammed. That's toasted. Mm, toasted. Yeah, so let's go into this prison cell. Just have a check over here in case anything weird happens while I'm in there. Hey, oh. Slam. 
right? No. Just try and walk out. There wasn't anything actually blocking me there, it was just uh, me being bad at the controls. <laughs> I was just looking at you and I'm like, there's actually Walk nothing forward. stopping. No, forward. <laughs> forward. <laughs> I mean, I know I've seen you be bad at games before, but I didn't expect it this bad. Um, <laughs> Walk forward. No, not that forward. Do not allow the day to come. Okay. Maybe walk through the doorway instead of walking around in circles. Is that the way I just come from? No, that's the way you just came from. Do not allow the day to come. I need to sort out whatever I need to sort out before morning then, ideally. What the hell am I even sorting out here? Am I looking for my lost uh, my lost boys? Rich, I have no idea what you're doing anymore. Like I've just I've just pretty much like Yeah, he's been uh, a bit special. Take the ray. Okay. Oh, that door's jammed. I'm not sure what's going on, Declan. There's another ray there. Ah, right next to this that. body. Lovely. Yeah. Oh. 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 Can I access any of my weapons? Or leave in some way that doesn't involve crossing paths with the, the big lad? Well, I guess I'm not... Pull up! You need to calm down, Rick. Everything's so panic-inducing, Dirk. Oh, this is new. Oh, I've got a cassette to play. I wonder if it's your favourite film. I yeah, but at least I'll say something different this time. Of Swan Factor. Since the beginning, I believe it is achievable and I can obtain it. If that were not the case, this whole project, institute, equipment, personnel, none of this would have existed. Everything comes down to one thing. There is one goal to it all. The discovery and extraction of a factor which makes each individual case unique among all the medical cases collected here and displays its own abilities. The military is expecting results. As long as they are paying, the works shall continue. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. Good to see the better how hard they try. So, I went down that way. I've been down this way. Oh, yeah, because he was stood opposite there, weren't I? So, do I need. The day has come. Yeah, you timed. Oh, was I timed out? Yeah, because obviously there's a clock for a reason. Oh, I don't remember. Pick, pick up the ray. Come over here. 
Don't, yeah, don't, don't you wonder what the ticking's for? Oh, it was just the uh, ambience. Sure. You don't hassle me the second time round. Probably need to go and find the other rays. I need to find the rays and then do a thing with them, don't I? There you go, so you that time to stop. Oh yeah, beautiful. So now I can listen in peace to, to this cassette recording. Have it, please join us next time. We don't have time for that. Since the beginning, I've yeah, believed. thank you for joining us on this, uh, this endeavor. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.